Good morning. I am ready to get into a new book today. This is the book of, of Ezekiel. I've never read it before. And let's go before the Father. Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for your ways. We thank you that you, 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 you take us, you correct us, you show us, and you teach us to be patient. And thank you for allowing me to see a book I've never read. I've never met Ezekiel. Ezekiel before. I heard a few things about him, but I want to discover him through your word because I know that it's true and the lesson that I am to learn, may I learn what it is for me to know through this book. Thank you for forgiving me of my sins, sins, and thank you for being my God. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. I must say that Ezekiel is a book that I read it in several translations. I listened to and I tried to take notes, but I don't think that my understanding is as fruitful as I would like for it to be. But I'm definitely going to read it and I'm going to learn how to follow God even when I don't understand where he's taking me. But what I can say about Ezekiel is that he was very bold. Because the writing that he has, he could, it, it seems like he's very detailed, paid attention to details. And you pretty much don't care what anybody thinks. Because he's in exile. And then he's, his mind is on the Lord. And the Lord's hand is upon him. And God spoke to him and gave him some very um, different things. If anything so far that I've read coming from Genesis up to Ezekiel. There are some things that were kind of uh, difficult to um comprehend and you got to keep walking with the word but Ezekiel opens up the door and he's blasting from the door he's he's made he's made up his mind whatever God shows me that's the only thing I'm going to speak and I and I would like to if I saw Ezekiel I would say I'd like to commend you for that because a lot of people shrink back because it don't make sense some of the things that you're saying in chapter one now, in Daniel, when I saw Daniel, uh, which would be uh, three years before today, Daniel progressed up to the point that he did say some things that got me to a point that he saw some visions that I, I didn't comprehend, and I think he didn't either, but the Lord said these things were going to come. But Ezekiel is coming from, he said, I can kill this, what you think? This is who I am, this is where I am, and this is what I saw, and uh, I'm getting ready to tell you what it was. So I'm not going to try to um, explain anything I don't understand. I do understand that he's a bold man to me. He said, now it came to pass in the 30th year, in the 4th, Month in the fifth day of the month, as I was among the captives by the rivers of Shabar, that the heavens were open and I saw visions of God. I saw visions of God. I saw some things that made me see what God looked like through a vision or how his operation is, what he looks like. Not so much as, he said, visions of it. In other words, I saw some things that nobody but God could show me. <coughs> and I like the fact that he told us when he saw it. He knew where he was, he knew what he was doing, and he said, this is what I saw. In the fifth day of the month, which was the fifth year of King Jehoiakim, caps, Jehoiakim's captivity, the word of the Lord came expressly unto Ezekiel. He said, I'm telling you, he came, it came to Ezekiel, the priest. He said, I'm not saying I'm, I'm a priest. Jeremiah was a prophet. So they had different duties. The son of Buzi. I'm telling you who, who I am. I'm telling you who was the king. I'm telling you who my daddy was. And the land of the Chaldees. I'm telling you where I am with these ungodly people. By the river Sheba. We're back where God called Abraham and told Abraham to come out of, and now we're back in the same spot. And the hand of the Lord was there upon him. So whoever is writing about Ezekiel, 
uh, in this uh, <coughs> uh, third verse. Excuse me. Ezekiel, like he boldly said, no, I, Ezekiel. First he was saying I, and now he's saying Ezekiel, and now he's coming back. And that, that's, that's, that's amazing to me. I know what I saw. I was there. And I looked, and behold, a whirlwind came out of the north. Note that. I saw this tornado, or this very strong wind, come out of the north. I was looking. A great cloud and a fire enfolding itself. I saw fire just, just kind of wrapping around itself, just not going, not, not going out of control, but just staying within and just, just burning, just like enfolding. I'm, I'm, I'm going over and over in the same spot. I am fire. And somebody said that was pretty much like the, uh, uh, what, uh, 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 what's his name? Uh, Moses saw. How that burning bush stayed still. He said, I saw, fold, I saw the fire enfolding itself. And a brightness was about it. And out of the midst thereof, as the color of amber, out of the midst of the fire. He said, I saw the fire continuing to do what it does, not just going all over the place. And then I saw an amber color in the midst of it. I saw a beautiful color. I could describe it. And he said, this is what I saw, Brenda. <laughs> also, I saw out of the midst thereof came the likeness of four living creatures. I saw something I know I did, and it, had, it was four living creatures. And this was their appearance. They had the likeness of a man. He said, yeah, I saw it. They had the likeness of a man. They looked like men. Living creatures, they looked like men. The light, it was like a man. And everyone had four faces. He said, listen to what I'm saying. Everyone had four faces and everyone had four wings. Okay, if a child was to say, what did that look like? He said, the man had four faces. That the, the, the living creature had four faces and they had four wings. So four times four is 16. And, uh... And he said, and all of them had four wings. So, I'm just reading what he said. I ain't going to try to say no more than what I see. And he said, then I looked at their feet and they were straight. And the bottom of the feet was like the sole of a calf's foot. So, he looked like a man, but he had a foot like a calf. We're going to find out why, according to if we keep reading and they sparkled like the color of burnished brass or polished brass. I'm talking about, he said the feet were so shiny until it was just amazing, burnished brass. And these creatures had the hands of a man under their wings. Under their wings was the hands of a man on their four sides. And they had four, and they four had their faces and their wings. He said, "I'm telling you what I saw, and I'm trying to tell you." Jer uh, uh, Ezekiel is getting started, saying, "I'm coming out swinging." This is what I saw, and I know a lot of people gonna look at me and say, "What's wrong with him?" Well, I don't know if they said that, but I can imagine if I came up and told you this is what I saw. And I'm boldly going to tell you what I saw. It's just what I saw. What you think is one thing, but what I saw is altogether the truth. Their wings were joined one to another. They turned not when they went. They went everyone straight forward. In other words, they weren't pulling against each other. They, their wings were joined together. I, would, I imagine their wings were like hands hold, but their wings were very, he said, joined together. And when they walked, they all walked in the same directions. direction. As for the likeness of their faces, they four had the face of a man. It's something to describe their face. They had the face of a man. They had the face of a lion. They had on the right side. And their four had the face of an ox on the left side. Their four had also had the face of an eagle. I know what I saw. 
they had the face of a man, they had the face of a lion, they had the face of an ox, and they had the face, all of them had the face of an eagle. They had four faces. That's what he said. That's why I say he's got to be a bold man. Thus were their faces, and their wings were stretched upward. So he said how they were looking up, the wings were. Two wings on every one were joined, one to another, and two covered their bodies. So, just it is what it is. If I was a child, I could picture it in my head. I got two wings going up, and the other one is, is, is so big that it covers my body. My body, or bodies being that it's for it. And they went, everyone straight for it, forward. Whether the spirit was to go. He said, if the spirit went in one direction, the, 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 these uh, creatures also did the same. They went, and they turned not when they went. Whatever the spirit led them into, that's how they went. It's so funny this came to my mind. It's like, and this is this me talking. If the spirit of God was leading uh, a person, it looked like what Ezekiel saw, it looked like even if it looked like it looked to him, like, it, to me, it looked like a monster. But at least it was following directions. That's just how I see it. And they went, everyone straight forward, whether the spirit was to go, they went, and they turned not when they went. He said, you call, I would say, if I was a child reading this, say, you call me a monster if you want to, I got sense enough to follow direction. <laughs> As for the likeness of the living creatures, their appearance was like burning coals. Ooh. Oh, they was hot of fire and like the appearance of lamps they look like lamps something to follow it went up and down among the living creatures let me go back over this as for the likeness of the living creature their experience their appearance was like burning coals of fire like the appearance of lamps and it not and it went up and down among the living creatures. It went up and down among the living creatures, and the fire was bright, and out of the fire went forth lightning. That's what Ezekiel said. I'm gonna leave that right there. I I I I need to keep my opinion to myself. And the living creatures ran and returned as the appearance of a flash of lightning. They were so quick. He was, they, were, they, they went so fast, but, as he, but even in the movement of what Ezekiel saw, they went fast, but they didn't go past him. Though that creature and how it moved, he said they moved like lightning. But he was able to see their faces. He was able to see that they had hands under their wings. He saw the wings going up. He saw the other wings covering the body. And he said, and they moved fast, and they would look like coals and fire. So he was paying attention, but he said they moved real fast. So this tells me more about Ezekiel than what Ezekiel is might be telling us that he saw. Because I believe that what he saw would be unfolded as I continue to read. It's like God said, come on, follow me. I'm going, like, Lord, where are you going? Just follow me. Ezekiel a bold man didn't care what Brenda thought. This is what I saw. And if it looked like a monster to you, then you call it what you see. But I'm going to say the truth. This is what I saw. And I like people who would be straight up, don't care what nobody say. I'll put it in writing. I'll tell you who I am. I'll tell you where I was. I'll tell you who my daddy is to justify. I am the priest. God's hand was upon me. This is what I saw, and I like it. I don't have to worry about wishy-washy, straight up, firm, this is what I saw, like it or not. Now, as I beheld the living creatures, he's still talking, behold, one wheel upon the earth by the living creatures, so I see a wheel with his four faces. Oh, now we got a wheel. The appearance of the wheels and their work was like the color of a barrel, and that's a very... Oh, I looked it up. Distinguished jewel. Something precious. Everything that he sees 
he sees it to the point that he's describing it with details because he saw it. Who can talk like that? You can't make this up. I mean, I've never seen it, but I, I, could, I believe him. I just like the way, I like his attitude. The appearance of the wheel and their work was like the color of a barrel, and they four had one likeness. The four wheels act just like the uh, creatures with the four heads. They were all operating under uh, uh, unity. And their appearance and their work was as it were a wheel in the middle of a wheel. A wheel and another wheel in the inside. That's how I see it. As for their rings, they were so high that they were dreadful. And when I see him saying dreadful, it's not like I'm scared of it, but it was more than I could imagine. And their rings were, that's what he said, and those rings were full of eyes around about them four. So you got this, everything that Ezekiel, Ezekiel is saying is strange to me, but he's bold enough to say it. Because if God is giving you a message to say, I don't care what it is, say it. I don't care how people respond. Don't think too much after God has given you instructions that you got to kind of fix it so you can, you know, you hope people that re receive it. No, you got to be the priest like Ezekiel. What did you see, Ezekiel? This is what I saw. What did you hear God say? This is what I heard God say. Then that's what he wrote down. And he said, and it, it is what it is. And when the living creatures went, the wheels went by them. So I'm seeing order. And when the living creatures were lifted up from the earth, the wheels were lifted up. It sounds like God to me. Wherever the spirit was to go, they went. There was, there, there was their spirit to go. So wherever the spirit went, they went. And the wheels were lifted up over against them. For the spirit of the living creatures was in the will. So the will was there. The living creatures was there. But the directions of what the uh, 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 living creatures were supposed to do was inside of the will. It makes sense to me, but I ain't going to try to. My opinion on this is kept to myself till I get it clear. Sally, it just sounds like order to me. When those went, these went. And when those stood, these stood. And when those were lifted up from the earth, the wheels were lifted up over against them. For the spirit of the living creatures was in the wheel. So whatever the wheel did, the living creatures did. If the wheel stood, the living creatures stood. If they, whatever he did, they acted as one. And this is what I saw in the sky. And the lightning, and he said, and this is what I saw in the sky, or the lightness of the firmament upon the heads of the living creature, the sky, was the color of a terrible, of the terrible crystal stretched forth over their head above, their heads above. In other words, when they looked up, when Ezekiel looked up, he saw crystal, he saw amber in the fire. He saw barrel on, on, in the wheel. And then he looked up and he saw crystal in the sky. Mm, mm, mm. Beautiful in my head. And even though I have never seen real jewel, jewel, jewels. And the likeness of the firm upon the heads of the living creature was uh, the color of the terrible crystal stretched forth over their heads above. And under the sky or the firmament were their wings straight. The one toward the other. Everyone had two which covered on this side, and everyone had two which covered on that side their bodies. He's telling you what he saw. And when they went, I heard the noise of their wings, like the noise of great water. So if you hear wings flapping, imagine water moving as the voice of the Almighty. To me, and this is my two cents, when Ezekiel saw all of that and how orderly it was, you can't help but find God behind it. If you're doing anything and it's out of order, don't look for God. 
I don't care what it looks like. If it has four heads, like he saw, if it had a wheel that had all eyes, which is strange to me, but if those things are lined up like God said, if there's anything that's being done right, look for God. So the behavior of this creature, unlike many of us with two eyes and one head, <laughs> don't follow instructions. And when they went, I heard the noise of their wings, like the noise of great waters, as the voice of the Almighty. Imagine the thunder talking and it's God saying, bring me a cup of water. <laughs> All right, the voice, that's me talking. This is not the word now. We can make a distinction. And when he, and they went, I heard the noise of their wings, like the noise of great waters, as the voice of the Almighty, the voice of speech, as the noise of an host. When they stood, they let down their wings. Uh-oh. If you, I, the way I see this is he saying that when those creatures position to do what they do, but when they stood, why did they stand? I believe he said, because the presence of the Lord was there, and he said, and their wings, whatever they were going up at, he said, those wings were let down. And there was a voice from the firmament in the sky that was over their heads when they stood, ooh, they stood, and had let down their wings. There was a voice. And above the firmament that was over their head was a likeness of a throne. Get things in order, and then we see God clearly. And I saw as the color of amber, as the appearance of fire round about within it. I'm looking at the throne. From the appearance of his loins, he said, I'm looking at it now, I'm telling you what I see, even upward. And from the appearance of his loins, even downward. I saw it were the appearance of fire and it had brightness all about it, all around it. As the appearance of the, he said, look like of the bowl that is in the cloud in the day of rain, so was the appearance of the brightness round about. So was the brightness round about or surrounding. He said, this is what I saw. This was the appearance. What I saw was the appearance of the likeness of the glory of the Lord. And when I saw it, I fell on my face and I heard a voice of one that spake. You got to be bold right there and put it in a book called Truth and put it in a book called Holiness. And you don't care what nobody say in earth. The hand of the Lord was upon me, said Ezekiel, the priest. I know where I was. I know that I was in exile. I know how long I had been in exile. And I'm just minding my own business. And I saw all of these details. So much so, I had to write it down. And do I care what Brenda thinks? I don't. Because what I saw is what I saw. And, and I'm just excited. This is my first time ever reading Ezekiel as I go one day, one chapter a day. And I want to go up behind this guy to find out what else you got to say. Because I've read every book in the word of God, one chapter a day. And this is my three, three years in about uh, almost two months, three years and two months, and I got a little over a month and a half to go, but I'll be finished if God allows me to live in the next 41 days. This is the first chapter, and I got 41 chapters left, and this has been my journey with God for three years. I want to know what he said. I want to know what did God really say. I have been in this word, I've been around the word all, all my life, but I never read it the way I'm reading it now. I've read it and I was introduced to the, the word being true in 1995. Religiously, I was brought up around a lot of religion. But in 1995, I began to read the word and Galatians 
got my attention because I was one of those people Paul was saying, stay away from. And ever since then, I've been eating from this book. And my desire is to get people to read this book because God has covered everything man ever did. Everything that every conversation I've seen, the behavior of God, when Jesus said, well, if you meet my father, he is to die for. And what I've seen about the Father, I understand why Jesus said, I'll go, I'll represent you. But it takes us to take the time and go slow enough so we can absorb the word and then we won't have all this friction. I believe this way, I believe this way. And I talked to a woman yesterday, and I'm out of here. I got to go handle some business. I t she was, we were in, we was in a Home Depot and I asked, I said, uh, she was checking out, telling me about her garden. I said, did you spend time in the Word? I don't believe in it. That's a white man's Bible. I said, I ain't say nothing to her because I knew her mind was already convinced. And she kept talking. Nobody is wise enough to write like God, but except God be in that man. You can say anything you want about this Word if you don't read it. And convince yourself of that lie. Take your time and read it. I could show that lady. Father, I thank you for your word that I am convinced that wherever I am going in the book of Ezekiel, I want to go because you are in charge. He showed me in the midst of exile that your hand was upon him and what he saw he wrote and I respect it. I see it. I respect the man. I'm looking forward to what else you got to show me through your word that I've never seen. I've never seen chapter two. But I thank you for allowing me to breathe. Through all of what's been going on, you have allowed me one day, one chapter, ever since I walked out of the classroom retiring in 2019. I have been alive. I have not been sick. I have not been in a position where I couldn't sit here and do what I'm supposed to do. And if there's anything you told me to correct about what I'm eating or what I did to that I need to modify, nothing kept me from being online to read. I respect your word. I want to know everything that you said. Oh, I love this book. Thank you for your wisdom. Thank you for your understanding. May the people that come in who may listen later, may they see and fall in love with your word because you are exactly who you said and everything about you is a, it's just amazing to me. In Jesus' name I pray. Good morning, everybody.